guys, welcome to my series, The Joy of Atlee. It's been a really long time. I haven't posted a video since before Christmas, so I've been like really, really MIA. <laughs> Life gets in the way. I'm back now, so I'm really excited to shoot this video. It's going to be a first impression slash review. A lot of people had been recommending gouache to me because they said, oh, you really like watercolor. You're probably really going to love gouache. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. And I'd used gouache before, but not in my own practice. Well, I had some experience with it, but not a lot. So I asked my boyfriend to get me some gouache. And he got me some Windsor Newton gouache and some Turner gouache. I shot some swatches and I'll put all the info on the paint in the description underneath, like down here. So this one's pretty opaque. That's really nice. It's pretty nice blue. If you guys don't know what gouache is, it's in between watercolor and acrylic. So if watercolor and acrylic had a baby, it's gouache. Um, gouache is more opaque than watercolor. It has more pigment in it, you need less layers, comes out of a tube in a really weird way. It's more of like a jelly kind of like weird hybrid and it was very strange for me to use it the first time because I was like, what is this? So it has an opacity and it's buildable. Watercolor is translucent. So when you're doing a watercolor painting, you use white paper, usually. The whole point of watercolor is that you have to be really careful about leaving the white of the paper where the white parts in your painting are going to be. So if I'm doing a face and there's like a white highlight going down a nose, I'm not gonna paint anything on that area of the painting because I wanna let the white come through from the paper. So if you're doing an acrylic painting, you can literally paint the highlight later. If you make a mistake, go back and fix it with like a white paint. Where I'm going with this is that you can go back with a white gouache and add a highlight. A nice thing about using the gouache was that I knew that if I did make a mistake or if I wanted to go back and highlight with a little bit of white, I could do that. Whereas with watercolor, you, you can't really do that. I decided I would do a little painting to see what the gouache was like because you really can't get a good idea of what the material is like unless you actually use it. And I don't mean just watching it because just watching stuff, you're not gonna get a good idea of what the product can do. So I was like, I need to do a little painting. So I decided to do a painting of something I really love and something I find so nostalgic to look at, which was a painting of Cain and Mankind and their manager, Paul Bearer. So you might be thinking like, Atlee, why are you doing a painting of this? Why do you want to do a painting of wrestling? Why this picture? If I showed it to anybody that didn't know wrestling or wasn't attuned to what wrestling is, you know, someone in a different country or someone who just had no idea, they would probably be really scared of it. It'd be like, what are you showing me? There's these two like freaking scary guys. One's got a mask on. It looks like they've beat up this guy. He's like completely like beat to a pulp. Like, why are you showing this to me? This is absolutely ridiculous. And the reason I like that is because me, when I first saw it, I didn't think that at all, right? Because I know wrestling. I'm like attuned to wrestling. So I looked at it and I was like, I knew the wrestlers. I was like, oh, like, they're just like backstage. They just finished their show. They're just fooling around. Like one of them's like, hey man, like I've got a bunch of blood on my face. Like let's take a funny picture. Like that's all it is. You can tell just by looking at it right away. If you're well-versed in wrestling, you'll know that. Even people that aren't well-versed in wrestling, people who just kn like look at it and they know what wrestling is, they're like, oh, they're just like kidding around. It's not real. So I love that. I love the idea that one image can be both so frightening and visceral and can come off as being something scary and like real if you don't understand the background or you can just like laugh when you look at it because you know it's a joke. I loved that, that, that idea that there could be two interpretations. It was very interesting to me to see it and you know at first when I did see the blood or whatever I was like ah blood but then I was like oh it's wrestling it's not real. The thing I gravitate to about wrestling so much is the theatricality and how much fun it is to watch like it is to watch a musical. It's pretty much the same thing to me. I mean, I grew up watching a lot of musicals on tape, going to see musicals, going to see the ballet, watching wrestling, and it all kind of became the same thing to me, especially since I acted out the scenes and knew that they weren't real. And as I've gotten older, 
I think something that I really gravitate towards with wrestling, it is this kind of hybrid thing between fake and real. Um, so the idea of when you watch wrestling, no one would ever say that it isn't real. Like all the announcers, all the wrestlers, all the people associated with wrestling would never say it's fake. It's completely real to them. We know that. Whereas in real life, <laughs> real life right now like me talking I know it's fake you know it's fake everyone knows it's fake but the idea that like it is successful because it, it has that line between real and fake I'm really interested in that the characters that these wrestlers play they make up their own character and usually the characters are just like a hyper intensified version of themselves you know these are fake characters but they're created from real life. Watching wrestling, even though you know it's fake, you know, something real can always happen. I'm not like sitting around waiting for someone to get hurt, but there is like, it does like, um, it does add something to it, the idea of it being fake, but that something real could happen. And not necessarily just someone getting hurt, but someone saying something wrong. From using the gouache, I will say when I was using the cadmium red, paint with cadmium in it, it's going to be more expensive. The, the color payoff is like amazing. Like it was so beautiful. When I did layers of red, it looked amazing. You could tell the difference between it and the other paints that it really was like higher quality and a better paint. The gouache paint seems to have more pigment in it. You don't have to do as many layers of the gouache. So. I could maybe, with watercolor, do five layers of red, whereas with gouache, I would do maybe one layer of red. So the painting was a lot faster to do. The end product, I mean, like, I think I probably could have done the painting in watercolor and it would be pretty similar. It might be a little bit dimmer. It might have taken me a little bit longer. There would be some differences, like I said before, like the fact that I would have had to let the white come through. I wouldn't have painted the white on afterwards, but I will say that like I showed the painting to my boyfriend when I was done and I was like, oh, what do you think of it? And he really liked it because he said the blacks were really black and the red was really bright and it was a lot more of a saturated painting than what I usually do when I'm doing watercolor. So I think gouache generally for me is more saturated and I'm able to get a very, very pigmented very bright, very contrasting painting a lot faster than if I was using just my watercolor kit because I'm more likely to use my watercolor kit in a very like delicate way. So I hope you guys got a really good impression of what gouache was like for me to work with. Give it a try, grab a tube, do a little painting with it, see if you like it. I mean like things that work for me might not work for you and vice versa. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and have an awesome day. Bye you guys!